what's up guys welcome to another video i want to apologize uh this video might be all over the place uh but it's specifically about how much weight i was able to get off the car uh keep in mind that the car is not a full track track car so i'm not trying to go extreme uh weight reduction it's a street slash drift car so i still want to be able to drive the car comfortably and then on top of that we got a, rid of a lot of weight but i also added some weight in uh bash bars strut bars etc but i'm going to show you guys what i did not step by step but i can show you guys a little bit of everything that went on uh throughout this whole process so i worked on this car for almost two weeks straight non-stop i'm kind of burnt out there's a drift event coming up soon so i was trying to get the car ready before the drift event and have at least a week and a half so I can take a break and then go to the drift event, you know, fully relaxed. But I'm gonna show you guys everything that I took off. But before that, I want to uh, show you guys a small clip. I try to surprise my friend, Cody. If you guys see and watch his videos, uh, he had a small accident at the track the last time we were there. So his front end was kind of messed up. So I try to uh, surprise him by putting his car back together. So I borrowed his car and then i worked on it so if you guys remember in the last episode uh cody this is cody's car cody ended up uh hitting the wall at spirit peaks uh raceway so when we went out there he was actually performing a lot better than i was he just went a little too crazy with it and he just gave like a nice big old kiss to the wall like and boom there it is what i did is I pieced together for him all of these parts. So I found this hood. Got a little damage here, but the fender looks in pretty good condition. So I'm gonna try to take fender, hood, and possibly this piece right here. My goal is his birthday is coming up. I wanna surprise him with a new front end. He's been going crazy right now and working really hard and trying to do as much as he can so he can put together an angle kid before we hit the drift event at the same time because it will be my first time testing out the angle kid. I also want him to do that. So he went and hurried, got his SLR kit, got a hydro, he got the dual caliper setup. So while he's worried about all that, his next thing is to be able to put his front end together. Uh, let's start pulling all this off and then uh, yeah, we'll see how she looks. So I've been running around trying to get all these parts, but here she is. Should be here probably here in about an hour. We'll try to get his reaction and see what he thinks. Happy birthday, bro! <laughs> yeah, where'd you get this from? I've been oh! it together. <laughs> Yo! What? I got you, bro. What did you do? I replaced the whole fucking thing. Dude, I've been stressing about this, not even gonna lie. See, and I know that he's been stressing, but he's been pretty happy because he got an angle kit coming for his car. He got a dual caliper setup and hydro, and we plan on hitting the track pretty soon. And I know that the next thing in his list was to try to get the car to look better, but it's been really, really hard to find sedan parts. And as soon as I saw this, I just hopped on the moment, you know what I'm saying? And I went and got it all for him. You can't pay for this. I'll tell you that. <laughs> you can't pay for See, that. this is what we flex. This is we got we each other's back. Yes, sir. So to start, me and my son went to the closest place uh, where you can throw all kinds of metals and stuff. And they're able to weigh your car when you go in with all the trash. And then they weigh your car after you got rid of all the trash. All right, so we're ready to go. Got Hello. my son with me. Hey. So we're going to try and see if we can get the car weighed. Hopefully they say yeah, so place is not that far from here okay, man, get it. 
Good job. Car is at uh, 3340. So minus how much I weigh, which is 240, we're at 3100 pounds. So we'll see how much we can get out of this car uh, after we put everything that we need to put on the car. By the way, my son did a great job filming. Hey! <laughs> Obviously to make it lighter, uh, I will have to sacrifice a sunroof. That, it's roughly about 30 pounds from what I hear. And then uh, I'm gonna try to get rid of some stuff in here. And then I also want to delete the spare wheel well along with the battery. And I'm gonna try to get a smaller battery. But the heaviest thing in the car is obviously the seat. So I'm gonna show you guys what I have here. It's my Momo seat. We're gonna put that on with garagistic brackets and then we have to throw these on. I got some pedals because I wanted it to look nice. And then I got a good deal on those C CNC 71s for the passenger. We're also replacing the uh, door cards on the car. These are really, really light. Here's the sunroof delete by uh, click tuning. And I'm gonna try to wrap the headliner in black after I take it off. It's a lot of work, but I'm really excited to just get started on it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, got the carpet out. I ended up uh, cutting it in two pieces. It was a lot easier, but I made it in a way that uh, you won't be able to tell because the center console is still going to be here. But yeah, this is what it looks like. The gas pedal was a bit of a bitch to get out, but I got that out. And then, uh, yeah, I just got to take that out. Ooh, got 50 cent. We're making some progress. Uh, I got the heat gun ready. So we're going to try to remove all the, the sound deadening, all this black stuff. Um, and then obviously on the other side as well. I found some fucked up shit over here. If you guys can see, it is cracked through here. You can literally see on the floor, um, on the driver's side right now. So the reason why this happens is because sometimes people uh, jack up the car from anywhere underneath these cars and you end up having that. That's one spot. I am not sure about this side, but definitely this side right here. There's a little plate that covers that. And the shape of it is all bent now. And that's literally the floor, as you can see. This is a uh, part of the process, but you know. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm taking this uh, de sound deadening out. I'm using a heat gun. So once you apply some heat, uh, it starts to actually be really easy to get off. As you guys can see, this whole piece just rolled out. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys. All right, I'm gonna show you guys once I'm fully done with it. Uh, got all of the sound deadening out from the back seat passenger side and the driver's side but now we're left with all the adhesive so there's a, a bunch of dirt glass and stuff like that so i'm gonna vacuum it and then i'm just gonna start cleaning it i have a can of goo gone in there and i'm gonna try that and hopefully uh i get to clean this really good and then i can start the repairs on the holes finally cleaned up the rest of the uh, of the sound ending that was in here uh, but we had a major crack in there and I thought that I was gonna just put some urethane on there but it was worse than I expected after I cleaned it up so Cody's right now currently welding as he's doing that I'm gonna try to get this uh, sunroof out and it looks like uh, it's just these bolts all around 
and then obviously the motor so i'm going to try to take those out uh that way i'm not in cody's way when he's uh welding on here all right so i got the sunroof out that thing is pretty heavy i'm not gonna lie I'm trying to get this car under 3,000 pounds so we'll see So now that we got it prepped, I don't want this to be in the car. If you guys can tell, it's kind of see-through. Like you can still see the sunlight. So um, aside from looking ugly, I don't want uh, sunlight coming through. So I bought some fabric. It might not do much, but at least it'll look a little nicer. I got some 3M uh, spray adhesive. I heard that this is the, the good stuff. So So this should be good now i'm going to try to mount it in the car and uh hopefully it looks good but other than this we're also getting all that fabric and then we're going to be doing the headliner as well that way everything looks in one piece uh and it doesn't look ugly but we'll see though all right guys so we got all of them mounted already we got the fabric on it we don't need the Swifter anymore it can be on there by itself so the only thing that we got to do now is uh fill in this gap i'm going to use some urethane and then uh we can go ahead and finish this to finish the sunroof the interior still needs a little bit of work we're still working on some other things but since we're on taking some weight off of the car I'm gonna move back here now so I have to strip all this out I got some of it out already I got turtle laboratory spare trunk delete and then also the battery so first I have to figure out what I do with this uh, I read that I can probably route this somewhere else but i can uh run the car without it it'll uh turn on the check engine light but it shouldn't affect the car this is just pretty much evaporated gases that go from the fuel tank in here and then back out i'm also taking care of the battery which i got a new battery and i'll show you guys my goal is to install that and leave the trunk looking clean and then I'm also gonna install this battery and I also got a new battery tray. And then obviously something to hold it down. Uh, another thing that I'm gonna be adding in the trunk is this uh, Parts by Max uh, rear strut bar and uh, we have the front one. And then um, this right here, excessive diff brake. We also have a rear and front bash bar that we will be mounting. So, <laughs> it's a lot of work uh but you know we're here so we're almost there so i just have to cut this out re reroute all these wires cut this out and then clean up the trunk and then mount the strut brace after that we just got to mount the the battery tray got a bunch of stuff removed out of here i ended up fixing some wires so they're not all loose uh, there was a couple of connectors out here. There was a small amp, uh, which is right there. I removed that and then the wires, I just zip tied them over here. Knowing my luck, if I cut them, uh, the car won't start or some shit. <laughs> so I'd rather not do that. And then um, I left the plug for that thing. Um, right here just in case i need to do emissions here in a couple of years um, so i will be saving that just in case uh, other than that i had to take the bumper off obviously and i took the wheels off and i routed the lines that were going into that 
that thing again. I put them to the side because I don't want to cut them yet. Uh, and then this black hose that you guys saw earlier, it was actually hanging right here by this little bracket and it wasn't hooked up to anything. So uh, we can get rid of this. Well, obviously I'm gonna save it just in case I need to hook it back up to that. So other than that, we are ready to start cutting. And uh, as you guys can tell, I had an issue mounting my diff. So I had to make holes in here. Um, some shitty holes, but we're gonna get rid of that. So why am I doing this? It's not too much about saving weight. It'll be easier to access the diff. We remove all of this. On top of that, I want the trunk to be a little cleaner and i also wanted to move the battery from the side of the car because when you're drifting if i get hit in a quarter panel it might crush the battery uh sparks might be flying and it's a little scary that the car was designed with the battery back there and all the evap stuff in here which is fuel lines not technically fuel lines but fuel vapors that go through there um so i'm trying to mount the battery in the center that way it has a little bit more weight in the center of the car, not on the sides. All right, so we cut it out. Got the battery tray. Well, it pretty much came out in one piece. You guys can see. I just followed it in a straight line. I'm probably gonna trim a little more here and probably on the sides. Uh, I'm not too sure yet, but we'll see because I know I definitely have a lot more to take off right here. So I'm just gonna clean all that up and then uh, use this wheel to uh, smooth out the edges and then uh, start uh, test fitting this thing and see if we can rivet it on. It's getting a little late, but I made a lot of progress. So as you guys can see, I sprayed and I also mounted the locations where I needed to drill holes. Uh, so the first thing I did was uh, find out where this was gonna be mounted. Obviously there was uh, some holes there, but I noticed that there was a little gap right underneath the, the strut bar and I was able to squeeze the, the battery tray underneath. So I didn't drill any holes for this because this is being held down by this. And I did do one uh, bolt on the other side and this thing ain't going nowhere. It's, it's hard as a rock. Uh, got it all mounted up. As for the, the, the plate, I took all the metal that was on the side and then once it was sitting, uh, flush I was able to drill some holes so on the left side I had to drill from the top down and then on the right side if you notice down here uh, there are some you can see where you're gonna be drilling at and then on the other side right here on the little plate the holes are already made so uh, pretty simple these are already in place the only thing that I have to do is uh, go ahead and go around and seal it up with some urethane. I still have to find a ground cable that it's long enough that can reach. I'm not sure I'm thinking about mounting it right there. There's a little bolt sticking out or going back to the same spot right here. I ended up using the urethane to go all around the edges and obviously before I did that I riveted them. I riveted the, the plates uh, first and then I used urethane which is the same stuff that I use for windshields 
and then I hit it with some primer, then some black paint, and then on top of that, I hit it with some Flex Seal. You can kind of see the texture a little bit. Uh, same thing on this side. I routed all the wires, and all the wires that were around here, they're up here pretty much. That's why this light is kind of flickering, because it's not supposed to be this way, but uh, I installed a LED on here so it can be a little brighter. Uh, I hard mounted my sub. I'm actually quite happy with the way it came out. Um, and then I installed the rear bash bar off camera, but this is a true focus fab bash bar which for the bumper i actually had to gut the bumper out uh, the bumper support or the the big metal piece that it's in here is actually quite heavy so i honestly feel like it's heavier than the bash bar and the bumper itself so i'm gonna show you guys i gutted it out turn this light on so you guys can see bash bar is mounted and then obviously we did the same thing on this side urethane on both sides and then uh, instead of flex seal on the bottom we used the bed liner it came out pretty clean and then obviously we got the differential brace in there and uh, came out pretty good we're gonna start off with some of the interior pieces I read online on how much some of this stuff weighs I don't have you know bougie scales that I can weigh everything but uh, I've heard that the seats uh, were at least 65 pounds each they are very heavy uh, sorry about my nose <laughs> kind of have my allergies going but anyways these are all the plastics that I got rid from the interior uh, we got side skirts I did the rear trunk delete front bumper front bumper support rear bumper support the rear bumper is still on the car we got about 22 pounds of uh, sound deadening uh, that was uh, what took me most of the time we got rid of the clutch fan I uh, installed an electric fan on the car and uh, since we're trying to make a little more power uh, we got rid of that but that will be on the next video all the bumper stuff we got the auxiliary fan old headers door cards all ABS stuff airbags we got the secondary air pump this bar I couldn't put back on with a new exhaust this is the old exhaust cats which I will keep uh, just in case I have to go through emissions again the rear interior and then some of that stuff is uh, what I got rid of uh, when I wrapped the whole car because I did the whole interior so we got that installed side skirts and we finally got the front bumper so before we take off, I know some of you guys are going to be wondering what I installed on the car instead of the stock seat. So we got a Momo bucket seat, uh, garagistic uh, seat bracket. It's fixed on there. It doesn't have any sliders because I'm trying to get as slow as possible because when I wear a helmet, I don't want to be touching the headliner. As you guys can see, I did the headliner as well. But yeah, we got Momo steering wheel, a Momo shift knob. We got pedals installed and I went with these mats because it kind of goes with the Momo theme. It's kind of low key. I wasn't trying to go too crazy with the interior. I wanted something nice and subtle. Nothing here in the back. I, I love these uh, leather back seats, so I didn't want to mess with anything back there. But anyways, let's go. Let's take off. I had to tell you guys, it is so much nicer being in this car now. It's starting to rain a little bit, so I'm gonna try to get there before it starts dumping. We're gonna step in there right now. It's super foggy, you can't really see, but hopefully the camera can capture it. I don't have my son right now that I can go and check, so I'm just gonna have to step in here check on these numbers thirty one twenty so as for how much the car weighs now when we got it weighed it was with me in it from the start of this video I actually lost another 10 pounds actually it was about 15 pounds but let's just say it was 10 pounds the car now weighs 1870 pounds now so we got rid of about 230 pounds just from all this alone. 
To tell you guys the truth, you can definitely tell. The car feels a lot quicker, a lot more responsive, and honestly, it just feels so much more fun to drive now. Um, my goal is to be able to keep up with at least a stock 350Z on track. So we'll see about that. If you're not trying to completely gut your car and you know you are still daily in the car and you want something nice that doesn't look completely uh, you know empty inside, uh, hopefully this video will help you out. It's about 230 pounds. I'm sure that you can lose some more. You know, what would I do if I uh, wanna lose some more? Probably carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber doors, carbon fiber trunk. That's probably it for now. Maybe the whole roof, cause I've seen some people do the whole roof, but I am not getting rid of my interior. I really love my interior. As for what's coming next, the next video is gonna be pretty exciting as well because there is a, a thing that I try to do a lot of research on and there's a lot of information from different people. There is an M50 manifold swap that you can do and supposedly it can make you gain more horsepower. If you really want the gains, you will have to follow up with a tune. And then if you also get headers and exhaust, etc. Uh, you will gain more power. So I did get the car dynoed uh, before and I will do another dyno after we install all those parts. What I'm mainly looking for is a higher rev range on a car. I would like to be able to, you know, rev the car a little more on second and third gear. We're going to see if we can achieve that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.